Hey everybody, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel, today is a new video and as you can see from the title, I am doing my birthday glam. It was my birthday on Tuesday, so yay! 28 years old! Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do a birthday glam today. I am feeling some kind of fancy. I wanna do something that I don't normally do. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. And it's gonna be a little bit chatty, a little bit make -y, so um, hey, here for the ride. So I'm gonna take my green mirror today because this is how we feeling. Birthday glam. So how are you all doing? Is everybody good? Uh, is everybody holding up all right? You know, is everybody keeping it chill on the down low? Um, wow. Now, it feels, like a, it feels like a while since I've actually sat down and filmed. Um, I've been in this sort of really bad funk recently and I don't know how to get out of it. So I'm just thinking, oh, just feeling really like, oh, and unmotivated and like, meh, and like I can't be bothered. So I'm happy that we're here and we're gonna be filming this because I miss you guys. I actually do miss posting videos where I'm talking to the camera, talking to you guys. I feel like you're literally in my home with me. Today, I look, I'm going in with Sweet Treats from Doll Beauty. And I feel like I want to do something red. I'm feeling a red eye with maybe some holographic silver glitter. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. So I'm gonna start with my foundation. So I've recently moved my stuff around as well, so my makeup is on this side now. And let's go in with my, I'm gonna go in with something different today. I'm gonna go in with Dior Forever. And then for primer, I've already done skincare, so I'm already skincared up. I am going to use the Primed and Poreless from Too Faced. And I'm just gonna apply this in my areas. This is sort of like a silicone primer where it fills in your pores and makes everything feel really smooth. It's really silky when it goes on. Like really silky. Really silky. Get my wrinkles. Now I'm like 28 years old foundation is in the shade 022 for those of you who are wondering let's do like three pumps hopefully three pumps will be enough and i'm gonna go in with my with my chanel foundation brush just a flat brush and we're just gonna apply this all over this is a little bit warm whoops i'll make it work You know what, is it just me or is this foundation brush brush thirsty? Like three pumps was not enough. Do you know what? I can't do this with my hair down. Now I can really see what I'm doing. Yeah, do you know what? I haven't used a foundation brush in such a long time and I feel like it because it definitely soaks up all my foundation. It's like, it's thirsty. It's a thirst trap, literally. <sighs> now I remember why I use either a duo fiber brush or a buffing brush, like a kabuki. Because girl, you don't use as much product. Let's <gasps> go with some concealer. What am I feeling today? I'm gonna go in with the La Prairie. This is gonna be our bougie makeup. 
I'm gonna go in with Black Prairie. I think it's called Cellular Brightening Treatment. And I'm just gonna apply this all along my under eye. And yeah, I know I use way too much concealer. And I watch Robert Welsh always say we don't need to apply this much concealer all the time. And he always says it, but when I'm applying it, I just can't help it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just love concealer. <laughs> and I just apply too much. Mm, this smells good. Okay, that's probably enough. What's really cool about this is, look, it has like three compartments and a cartridge. So you can essentially just replace the cartridge and keep the packaging. Um, Light Fantastic Cellular Concealing Brightening Eye Treatment. This is in shade 20. Let's blend this out. Girl, you know my little pot. Every time we bring it on camera. Up. Blend this out. This does settle super nicely onto the skin. So, I mean, it's expensive, but look, look at that blend. My under eyes. It just looks like I have nice skin, honey. Not thick, not, not heavy, not cakey. Just really nice coverage. Perfect. Now let's set this. I'm gonna go, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change it up a bit today. So I'm gonna set it with Ben Nye Banana Powder. Give me that brightness. I'm gonna tap some out. Has anybody ever tried this? I, I, I bought this. Well, this isn't the original one that I bought, but back when everyone was going crazy, probably like this much. Holly, remember when everyone was going crazy for like Kim Kardashian and she was doing the whole like banana powder under the eyes and it was such a big craze and everybody went crazy for it. And then loads of other brands were out their own banana powder. Nothing will compare to the OG and the number one Ben Nye banana powder. Look at that, it's just, I love it. So I'm gonna leave that on heavy-ish because I'm gonna do an, a bright eye and any fallout. We do not on my face. Oh my God, I just realized I'm gonna do a red eye with red nails. What do we think of my red nails? Red. Are we loving, are we living? Are you loving the fantasy, honey? Love it. <laughs> Girl, we be crazy today. And now I'm going in with Max Factor. This is Cream Puff. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? Truly Fair. Patting it all in. Pop, 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 pop. Set down that foundation. Come on, honey, set that foundation. So once we've set that foundation, I'm just gonna actually take this and just do whatever's left and go like this. Don't ask me why I do this, cause I don't know. I just feel like it does something. I don't know what though. Now going into Sweet Treats, this is Peaches and Pop-Tarts and this is by Doll Beauty. If you haven't checked Doll Beauty out, where are you living? What are you doing? Because Doll Beauty is not a brand you should be sleeping on. You should check it out. Their highlighters are amazing. Their eyeshadow palettes are amazing. Their lashes, love them. Bronzer, coming soon. I'm yet to try their bronzer, but we're gonna try these eventually because we're gonna get bronzer and also they also have another palette it's called um mud pie macchiato that i really want to get as well so this is the original when it was like released for valentine's day it comes in a tin now i think i've said this before but um i'm just saying now let's have a look at my brushes so i've stored my eyeshadow brushes in these how cute is this 
Comment down below if you want a Wedgwood collection video. Now let's go in with this brush and I'm gonna dip into, it's called Ice. So dipping into the shade Ice, I'm just gonna apply this along my brow bone. Here. Ice is kind of like a warm, golden, yellow, neutral highlight. It's not bright white, which I quite like, because sometimes bright white can be a little bit, it's a little bit too icy. This is a bit warmer, which gives it a little bit more of a softer look. And I actually think, yeah, look, this is the first eyeshadow that I hit pan on. I wonder why. And now I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush, Choco Orange. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly pop this into my crease. Just like that. This is just to give me something to blend the red into. Just a little bit, pop it on there. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take a, another fluffy brush, like this one, I don't know where this is from. And I'm going into the shade Gum. Which is this kind of nice red shade. And I'm gonna pat down some pigment to start with, just so I can get that color payoff. Just patting that down. Oh, look at this color, honey. Oh, honey. Color, honey, on my eyelids, honey. Yes, honey. Just gonna apply more. And then remember, we are gonna go back in with that sort of orangey shade just to buff it out. As this color is super intense. This looks gorgeous. The pigment in these shadows from Doll Beauty is, is off the scale. Going back into Choco Orange and just taking that lightly just above where I applied the red. And that is just to soften this crease and just blend the kind of red shade or the gum shade into it. Again, same on this eye. Sometimes the nicest eyes are the quickest. Oh, look at me. I said I was going to do a cut, a cut, a cut crease. And I've gone in like I wasn't going to do a cut crease. Um, I could still do it. Going into Rush. Just applying that on my inner corner. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Fingers are, you know, numero uno when it comes to, you know, finishing makeup as well. It's not all about brushes. You definitely need brushes, but your fingers are your best friend also. Just applying that on the inner corner just gives that nice kind of shimmer to it. And now I'm going back in with gum and I'm also going to dip into candy as well. And I'm just going to deepen this red shade. And I'm taking it in towards where that inner corner colour is, just to take that down just a notch. Because I feel like it took away too much of the colour. Just gonna blend this slightly. Yes. I like this. And now I'm just gonna take a clean brush now and just make sure it's clean. Yeah. And I'm just gonna buff these edges. And the reason we do this is because harsh lines 
is not what we want. Like that. And then that's the top of the lid done. Let's focus on underneath. So we need to sweep off all this banana powder. Brush wise, I'm gonna take this kind of flat brush like this. And I'm gonna go into the shade, is it called gum? I can't see. Yeah, gum. And I am just going to, I hope you can see this, gently drag it along. My lower lash line like so just ever so slightly and then what I want to do is I'm not going to dip into that choco orange color again just using what's left on the brush and just slightly dragging it across. You see that makes just a little bit of difference. This side to this side, can you see it? Even if it just helps blend it a bit more, that's all we really want. We don't want to put loads of color right underneath right now. And then going back into the shade Rush. Just apply a little bit more on my end of the corner. Now don't go too crazy with this because too much can look terrible. She says that she proceeds to apply loads. There we go. And now I feel like I want to take it that little bit extra step. So, I'm actually going to go in now. I'm going to go in with this is Heavy Metal by, uh, sorry, let me show you. Heavy Metal by Urban Decay. And this is in the shade Junk Show. Try and get some of the thing. And I just want to apply this along my lid just a little bit. Just want to add a little bit of shimmer because I was going to do a cut crease but the way that I applied it I wasn't paying attention so I don't really want to get concealer in there it's going to look a little bit messy but I think just a little bit of this on the lid is going to look pretty and it's a nice alternative you know Like that do you see just adding a little bit more shimmer Just like that. <coughs> now, eyebrows. Eyebrow. Now I'm gonna go with my tested and true formula as always, my dip brow from Anastasia. So I will draw my brows on and then we will come back. Back and I have brows. Um, so just use my dip brow. Because I've just noticed something really sad's happened. Look at my mirror. Do you see this? I don't even know how that even happened. I haven't dropped it or anything. And it's just like cracked. But oh well. I don't even know how it happened. Kind of upset though, because I only just got these. 
And I mean, all my other ones. I mean, they're all good. Maybe it's the type of casing because it maybe puts a lot of pressure on, on the mirror. I don't know. Annoying. Moving forward. Let's not get caught up in this. Uh, I'm gonna go in with, ah! This is my birthday. You know, my favorite bronzer. La Prairie! This is gonna be like a bougie video. I'm gonna be using like bougie products as much as I can. Warm up my cheekbones, just a bit. Warm up the forehead. Still fuming, actually, a little bit about my mirror. Oh well. First time I'm using it as well, I'm not gonna lie. Look, when you put this bronzer on, look how nice that under eye powder makes your face look. It looks so good, I love it! It's an amazing powder. Everyone should try it, even if you just order, you know, from like eBay or somewhere, how some people are selling, how you can get like a little sample of it for like three pound or something. Don't get scammed, but it's worth trying it if you think you're gonna like it. Trust me. Trust. Trust and believe. Now for highlighter, let's go with my favourites, Doll Beauty, again, a lot of Doll Beauty in this video today, honey. And where is my highlighter brush? With the shades, uh, Viva Forever, I'm going to try Viva Forever. Viva Forever, I'll be waiting. Do you remember Sp um, Spice Girls? I think it's that. Hey Google, play Viva Forever from the Spice Girls. <laughs> hey Google, stop. Girl, we had a moment then. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Stop playing. Look at this highlight, that's so pretty. I never really used this one by itself, but girl, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, for blush, what shall we do? What shall we do? Do you know what I want to go into? And you're going to be like, what the hell? Where did you pull this out of? And I don't know if anyone even remembers this. Remember Dallas? Oh, flip it. Remember Dallas by Benefit? Let's try this out. I've not used this for a long, long time. Let's have a look. I used to use this so dark on my face, like. Okay. Can't really see much of it, to be honest. Oh gosh, yes I can. This thing's blending now. Ah! Powder brush, powder brush. Where my powder brush is? Seriously, where are my powder? Oh. Girl, why did I think I couldn't see it? Have you seen how dark it is? Okay, bad choice, bad choice. Okay, better choice now it's blending. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I don't like that blush, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go in with Baby Love from Too Faced. That was a bad choice, and now I remember why I don't use that blush. Okay, I should just stop because I think I'm making it worse by adding too much. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's go on with some eyelashes. Ugh. Gross, gross, gross. Viva, that's over my head now. I need to get a new one because this is all I've got left. So you want to apply your glue to your eyelashes. Probably like this much. I don't know if you can see that much. And what I do is I leave it on the side and I let it dry while I put the glue on the other lash. And by doing that, what I'm actually allowing is that glue to go tacky. And I generally find it's pretty almost ready once we get to that point. So again, same amount on this one. And what I do is I will grab it and I'll go. Only do this to your own lashes. If you have a client, like you're doing it professionally, mm -mm. that's cross-contamination and dirty. Do not blow on your lashes. Uh, even on your friend, you shouldn't really do it. It's a bit gross, but... And then, yeah, I make sure I bend the band so it's kind of curved like my eye. And then what you want to do is when you apply, you want to look down, take your eyelash like this. And then I place the center like that. And then I adjust the edges. So the front. And then I adjust the end. You want it to sort of be further out at the end of the of the eye not so much where it's like beyond your actual eye shape but you kind of want to make sure that it goes with the curve and doesn't sit straight so you kind of see how that's sitting like like that and then it kind of extends out if you struggle as well you can take a makeup brush and you can just push along like this just to make sure that it is sticking and then you have an eyelash on and definitely by the time you've been faffing about with that eye this one will be ready, still blow. Just to make sure. Again, bending the eyelash. And then placing the eyelash down. And again, center, then focusing on the ends. because you want to make sure that it sticks. You don't want to have an eyelash that's hanging off, especially on your inner corner. That's not cute. But that's not gonna look good. And then you have two eyelashes on your eyes. And now I'm going to do some eyeliner as well. So I am going to go in with Perversion from... No, I'm not. I'm going to... Let's go in with Estate. No, I'm going to go in with Perversion. Uh, but I can find it. Why does it do this? Look. And let's go in with these. I like this eyeliner because I find that it draws on really easily. And to be fair, it doesn't really move, like it stays where you put it. I'm gonna do some lips. What kind of lips shall I do? I feel like I'm gonna use, I have this. This is from Artiste Couture. It's like a glitter lip gloss. It's in the shade Climax. Ooh. I wanna use this and I wanna use some kind of lipstick as well. 
So um, I'm going to go and have a look. I'll be back. I think I'm going to go and bop with this Bobby Brown. It's called Nude Rose. Pretty. I'm going to do a lip liner as well. So let's have a look. What lip liner should I do? Helen E. And it's in the shade. It's called Waterproof Protective Lip Liner in shade 3. That's what it says. And let me find my sharp now. And sharpen your pencils, ladies and gentlemen, and those in between. You want to have no blunt pencil. Your lips need to be sharp. And this is actually a really good match, I think, for the lipstick. So I'm just going to go in and draw my lips. You want to have like a thin line, you want to kind of, you see I'm fading it a little bit. This gives the illusion when the lipstick goes on, it's a little bit more ombre. Does anybody else hold their breath when they do their lips? Now let's go in with this lipstick. Goodness, look at that. Literally the same colour. Oh, I like that. I'm into that. Now, let's do a bit of mas lip mascara and lip gloss. So let's go with this one. Oh, wow. I love that. It's so pretty. Right, let's do mascara. Dior show, and you just want to blend your lash, your lashes in to the fake ones. Set my face. Girl, I really need to buy some new setting spray because I'm always using the same one. But since we're in quarantine, there's no way to get out. Set my mug. Set my mug. Set my mug for life. Woo! Do you know I like? I'm into the. I like this side pony as well. I think it's cute. Dry my face down. Let's take it out and let's see how, how we look in. What do we prefer? Oh, I prefer, prefer it down. So guys, this is the finished look. What do you all think? Are you into it? So this is my birthday glam that I decided to do for you all. So thank you so much for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. I'd like to have you hanging around for some more videos. And until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye, my loves. Mwah.